what is happening YouTube welcome back and today's an episode of No Man's Sky and uh, I think what I really want to do with No Man's Sky at the current point of time is to bring you guys updated information based on things that have changed over the patches things that have been touched up on and fixed and repaired especially when it comes to things like glitches uh, what I wanted to talk about in today's episode and show you guys is a duplication method that works with the very current version of the PC version of the game uh, which is the 24th of January 2019 they have not managed to patch this yet so it's still working as of now and probably will continue to work at least for a little while yet so uh, let's let's go over to the refiner and I'm going to show you guys the differences between what people on YouTube at the current moment are showing for PS4 and Xbox one versions for the duplication glitch and how that doesn't work for PC but ways to work yourself around it so that it does work on PC so uh, let me just move my way over uh, mind the mess because it's actually been a while since I have maintained this crazy crafting base and as you can see I'm not even completed there's half filled items and things like that going on um, but and we won't go there we will go we will go here um, so I've kind of just created a well, I guess you could call it a hub and this is sort of a hub for me for crafting and playing around and trying different things out. Um, I want to make that middle level kind of just about hanging out. This bottom level, as you can see, there's a lot of refiners. And I've been trying different things out with these uh, refiners and stuff, as I always have done. Um, so most of the glitches that are out on YouTube at the moment are mostly about the large refiner. And what you kind of usually would see is... You know, you pop an item in the top that's bad, pop an item in the middle that's good that you want to duplicate, and you go through this process of stacking them on top of each other and eventually uh, duplicating the items into your inventory. While you can still do this on PC for the large refiner, I will say it's a little more complicated on PC for a large refiner. Um, just the way the sort of inventory system seems to work a little differently uh, with a mouse and keyboard, I suppose. I'm not really sure. The most recent videos that I've seen come out, especially for Xbox and PS4, um, have been for quantum processors. As you can see, 22 million units per stack. What we are actually going to do is we're going to duplicate this item. This is a stasis device. Now, the stasis device actually requires the quantum processor to already be pre-built to put into the stasis device blueprint. As you can see, it requires the quantum processor, the cryogenic chambers, and the iridescite. Some pretty rare materials in order to craft one of these. I've got a stack of five here, and uh, I will show you guys how to duplicate any of these items that you have that will make you a lot of money. It doesn't matter which one you go for, even if you don't have the cryo pump. Um, anything that's, of, uh, that's obtainable through units, anything that you can get your hands on, anything that has the highest value, if, you, if you're here to make units, then this is the way you are going to do it. So um, for the purposes of this video, I have emptied out my exosuit inventory and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up so that it's really easy. And essentially what you need is, you need a fairly em empty inventory. You need some throwaway items, which I'm gonna use uh, ferrite dust for and you are going to need the item of course that you want to duplicate this does not have to be something that you want to sell this is also extremely useful for so many things in the game I can't even begin to tell you how useful this can be so this is good for so many aspects of the game Starship, your exocraft, your exosuit, your freighter. This works for everything. This works for quests. This works for crafting. This is going to be your go-to up until they patch it, of course. And uh, this is current on PC as of the 24th of January 2019. I think it's a 1.77 patch that is currently active. And I am in the experimental version of this game. So it's probably not going to be patched for a little while yet. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to show you guys the method. I'm going to try and explain it as really simply as possible. And then we're going to spam through and we're going to show you that what we're really doing is we are creating um, a replacement for the item that we're happy to throw away. So let's have a look. The first thing that needs to be done is we need to fill these inventory slots with small stacks of whatever it is that you're happy to throw away. So effectively... We are going to create stacks of 10 and there we go so all of this ferrite dust here 
represents a new stack of the item or a duplication of the item that we want replicated okay so this drive if we decide to start with the drive with this uh, module here then eventually as we see these ferrite dust stacks disappear we're going to see the new mod reappear same goes with the stack of items that you might want to sell stasis devices we uh, we're gonna see more of those appear and we're gonna see more of the ferrite dust disappear okay so the method is really simple I'm gonna go through this a few times with you so you understand it um, it's a little bit different to the console version so pay pay attention to the the changes if you've seen the console version if you're on PC this is how you do it okay so you take your bad item and put it in the top then you take your good item we're gonna do a stasis device first and we're gonna put that in the bottom okay just like in the console version we're gonna take the bad item and pop it over the top of the good item the bad item now disappears place a bad item back on top and do it again this time the good item disappears usually what you see in the console versions of this trick is to grab that bad item which I can't actually do on PC and bring it back up to the top so because this isn't working the method that has worked for me and this is the way around it is to just simply go back up to the top place another bad item and then take now you can take that bottom item and you can pop it back in your inventory like so you can see now going into here that there are two stacks of the thing that we only had one stacks of I'm gonna pop the good item back down and we're gonna rep repeat the process okay I'll do it again bad on top of good bad disappears pop another bad in bad on top of good good disappears pop another bad in pop the bottom bad back away and replace it with a good bad goes on top of good bad disappears pop another bad in bad goes on top of good good disappears pop another bad in get rid of the bottom bad and replace it with a good okay so we're just gonna repeat this process a few times and you can see just by looking in the inventory that they are definitely duplicating um, the other thing you'll notice is that there's a stack of whatever it is but in this case ferrite dust whatever it is that you're throwing away and if it's a stackable thing there's a stack creating itself and that's because we are taking from the bottom area here and we are throwing it back into the inventory so this stack of 60 you can still effectively use it you can still effectively pop 10 back into the top here but because we're throwing it back into the exosuit it is stacking itself here the other thing you'll notice is obviously they are definitely duplicating themselves in this inventory so the more of that ferrite dust that disappears from the rest of the inventory here the more of these stacks you will see coming up here so good item on the bottom bad goes on top of good bad disappears put another bad in bad go to goes on top of good good item disappears pop another bad in take the bottom bad and throw it into the exosuit put the good back and start the process again I wanted to bring you to this point where now I'm out of those stacks that I created. I'm completely out of them. That doesn't mean I can't use that stack that has been creating itself there. So what I now do is I take from there and I use the down key to change the stack size and I pop the 10 back in there. That goes back in there, that goes back in there, that goes back in there. You do it again and you can keep working off that one stack. It does take a little bit longer but uh, eventually you end up with a complete replacement of all of that ferrite dust or whatever you might be putting in there in its place so you can see that that stack has now gone down to 100 oops we want that there first and that stack is now down to 90 
Okay, this will be the last stack of 10 available. And that's it. So let's have a look now at the inventory. <laughs> so other than that bottom corner, which that stack is actually inside the medium refiner. There we go. So let's have a look. And now suddenly, suddenly, all of those stacks of 10 ferrite dust have turned into stasis devices. If I am to sell them for 78 million a pop, you can understand that I would be super, super, super rich very quickly. And this is kind of how it's done. Now, just to prove a point to you, just to prove that it actually does work, we are going to do it again. I know I'm going to delete these stasis devices. Everyone's like, no, you don't need it. I don't need the money. I don't need the units. And I'm going to remove them and delete them. And I'm just going to keep a stack for myself. And this is just to prove you can, you can duplicate pretty much anything. So now out of all of this, the one thing we did lose is all of that ferrite dust. That's the one thing we did lose. Okay. Okay, so to prove to you, to prove to you that we are able to do this with pretty much everything, I have got my hands on... a stack of ferrite dust and a hope of pure ferrite. Now just to, so things aren't confused, we're going to use stacks of pure ferrite to get a full stack of ferrite dust. Okay, so we, I didn't want to use two lots of ferrite dust because it'd just be too confusing. Okay, so now we're considering that one bad and one good. Okay, so just let me... Okay, so that's all we really need for now. Just to get ourselves some more ferrite dust. Okay, so this is nine pure ferrite. And a full stack of ferrite dust. Okay. Let's see if it works. Pure ferrite over there. Go back here. Pure ferrite over there. Go back in here. Pure ferrite up there. Take that back to the exosuit. Pop on the 250 ferrite dust. We'll do it one more time. So, I've just replaced, I have just replaced that ferrite dust that we have lost, okay? So let's, so let's now, full stacks of ferrite dust have been duplicated. Don't need any of this, don't need any of that. Okay, so... One more time we're going to do it, and this is going to be for the Humboldt Drive S-Class module. That's it. And that's it. And then, all of a sudden, we have many. 
So I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I think I've very clearly made my point that uh, this duplication glitch absolutely works and I hope it does help you guys out and I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's good to jump back into No Man's Sky because honestly I haven't play been playing too much of it. There hasn't been a lot that's been going on since the community event has completed but uh, I'm going to continue to I think refresh some of the things that need refreshing on the channel so that you guys can get an up-to-date up version of some of these guys guides because sometimes they need a little bit of updating for the current versions especially for those of you guys out on pc um i don't think we get as much love as we deserve on pc so um if you want to see a specific guide then let me know in the comments below i know one of my most popular ones has been about the freighter and frigate system and i'm happy to do an upgraded or updated version of that one if you guys see fit i will be doing anthem as it comes out i will be live streaming it and i will be popping it up on the channel as well and i'll be doing some guides and let's play for anthem but otherwise if you did enjoy today's video or if it was helpful in any way leave a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe if you want to see more of my no man's sky guides and let's play content hope you're having a good day and i'll catch you guys in the next one mm -hmm.